Hi, I'm Rafat Abunur from Indiana University, and I'm really excited that uh, the International Myeloma Foundation allow me to present my uh, take on uh, 2019 myeloma. It's a really exciting ASCO meeting. Um, there are a lot of exciting stuff. First, uh, I think Dr. Mateos will be presenting a new classification of high-risk smoldering myeloma. I think this is a population of patients at risk of developing myeloma within two years, and I think addressing this population, treating them early, may improve their outcome. So uh, she will be presenting data showing that if you have more than 20% plasma cells in the bone marrow, more than two grams of myeloma protein, or you're involved over and involved a free light chain above 20, you are a high risk for progression. And I think those population of patients should be studied. Dr. Sagar Loniel will be presenting, he's from Emory, will be presenting on behalf of ECOG, whether actually intervening in high risk smoldering myeloma with lenalidomide will improve uh, the chance of reducing uh, progression. And he will present exciting data on that comparing lenalidomide to placebo showing that lenalidomide provide sort of protection from progression to symptomatic multiple myeloma. And I think that will set the stage to using better combination therapy to try, hopefully cure that subset of patients like uh, Saji Kumar and the International Myeloma Foundation leading the uh, ASCEND trial, looking at quadruplet induction treatment followed by consolidation and maintenance for two years. The other exciting stuff is, uh, you know, whether uh, we need stem cell transplant in the era of novel combination therapy. So Dr. Gay will be uh, presenting on KRD for 12 months uh, or KRD with transplant. And uh, very interesting data. The question is, you know, uh, I think it looks like high-risk patients still need autologous stem cell transplant. In uh, low-risk patients, maybe KRD is adequate, but we don't have uh, you know, a long follow-up on that. And then uh, Dr. Philippe Moreau and his colleague in France will be presenting amazing data on including monoclonal antibody as an induction treatment for patients going to transplant. So he's using daratumumab with uh, bortezomib thalidomide induction treatment. And uh, the data looks really good in terms of the depth of the response, the number of patients getting minimal residual disease negative state. And then I think the other exciting stuff is uh, will be presented by Dr. Paul Richardson on another monoclonal antibody against CD38, uh, the uh, istoxizumab, which is uh, combined to pomelomide showed superior result compared to pomelomide dex in the relapse setting. And then uh, obviously uh, the issue of uh, you know bite, the bispecific T cell engager is evolving. I think these are going to be uh, really sort of changing the way we look at treatment of multiple myeloma. So uh, Dr. Top will be presenting on uh, Amgen products uh, and it looks very promising. So I think it's a very exciting ASCO 2019. Uh, stay tuned. I think we are coming up with better combination therapy and hopefully we can cure myeloma.